What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my review of this Lilliput 668GL1080 monitor for DSLR or camcorder. Now I did the unboxing of this and like I said the price came in at around £120-£130, about £140-£150 in the States. And I have actually had to purchase this small screw-in hot shoe mount here to actually place this on top of the camera. And I bought that from Amazon for just over £5, about 6 to $7 in the States. And I believe, in fact, that if you buy certain versions of the kit of the monitor, you actually get that hot shoe mount included. So, just to give you a bit of a close-up of the hot shoe mount, it literally just clips straight in screws into the bottom of the Lilliput monitor and then you get complete flexibility over the control due to the ball mount on the top of it. Now in order to actually connect up this Lilliput monitor I've got a mini HDMI cable so full size HDMI going into the back of the Lilliput monitor for the input and then on the side of the camcorder we've got a mini HDMI output and that's plugged in and just connected straight up using one cable. Now this cable carries both video and sound and the Lilliput monitor does actually include some speakers as well which are quite superior to the ones in the DSLR. So when you're playing back your videos you can see it on the screen and you also get the sound out of the display as well. Included in the kit with the display you also get this small remote control as well and that enables you to turn the display on and off. Also included in the kit you get a mains charger and that allows you to either power the device separately or actually charge it. Now in terms of the performance of the battery, I found the battery lasts for about 3-4 to four hours of continuous use. So actually not a bad performing battery at all and you can also pick these batteries up on eBay for I think around the sort of 8-12 to 12 pounds mark. Now in order to use it all we do is turn our camera on, make sure that the actual screen is on and then we just put our camera into live view mode. Let's take the lens finder off here. And there we go. We can see a complete illustration of what's going on in front of the lens here on this little display. It has like a nice little hood over the top and the sides which just keep the sunlight out quite nicely. And hopefully you can get some idea here of the actual quality of the display as well. It really is quite a high quality display. Now I've also tried this with the SD90 camcorder and also the D5100 as well as obviously this D7000 that I'm using it with at the moment and it works exactly the same on all of those different cameras. So I think for about £120, £140, $150 this screen really is a fantastic investment. If you're doing the kind of videos that I am where you need the camera to be facing you quite a lot, you need a good illustration of what's going on in front of the camera. It's definitely a lot better than the small articulated lens that comes out of the side of the camera and obviously doesn't restrict you to only buying, you know, for example, the 60D or the 5100 that have those articulating lenses. The built-in sound and the remote control are a nice addition as well. And the quality of the display and the resolution of the display really has impressed me quite a lot. So anyway guys, that was my review of the Lilliput 668GL monitor for DSLR and camcorder. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you've got any questions, leave them below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.